Hi guys, my name is Borodante and welcome to Moldova! So yeah, Nadia and I read a bunch of news and decided to have a little trip to the nearest country for the time being. Cause like, who knows what's gonna happen? I mean, Western news and Ukrainian news, like local news, are very different in terms of like, you know, there's a lot more panic going on in the West. And inside of Ukraine, everyone's like, ah, it's probably gonna be fine. It's probably just political games they're trying to bargain the best deal in uh, the whole NATO situation and whatever. Like, they have no reason to actually attack Ukraine and all that, while we kind of already have a quarter of the country attacked for many years, so I don't know. I read a lot more Western news than local news, so we decided to use the advantage of our occupation and just packed our stuff, I bought myself this laptop, and we got on the bus. So it was a road trip, which made luggage baggage question a lot easier. And so yeah, I'm gonna be in this room for a little while. I don't know how long, hopefully things are gonna improve or at least at all change within the next several months, because there's a good chance by the time we have to go back, things will be exactly the same way as they are right now. It's something they're really good at, you know, dragging things for many, many months and years without any progress, so who knows. But so far, I felt like it was really stupid in my position to keep sitting there and hoping for the best, you know? So here we are. Everything's great, I feel great, Nadia feels great, we love the place, we love the country, like no need to pray for us or whatever the way people love doing on the internet. Uh, really for us everything was always just on the news and we just decided to keep it that way if anything happens, you know? So that's about it, everything's great. Just don't feel any pity for me guys in the comments. That's all I'm asking for. A lot of people kept saying like, oh, you look stressed out, you you look sick or anything, you know, lately. It's probably just because you guys read the news. I feel great and I, I lost a lot of weight, but uh, I started doing that since the beginning of fall, because Nadia and I switched to a much healthier diet. And now I don't feel the huge necessity to pack my body with a lot of food every evening, because that food is not full of sugar and fat. That's about it on that part. <laughs> But yeah, as you can see, I brought a big portion of my studio with me. Uh, of course, I had to leave my giant Intuos 3 A3 tablet at home, same as a giant monitor and the desktop computer for that matter. But instead of that, I got this insane beast of a laptop. This is Asus ROG M16 2022. Intel i9 12th generation, RTX 3070 Ti, and 32 gigs of RAM. This thing is faster than my desktop computer in absolutely everything. This is crazy, it's so fast. Editing the last Overpain video was incredible. I actually got to be as fast with the editing reflexes as I am fast, not as a computer is fast. Like. No delays, no anything at all. That's the kind of speed I haven't felt for a while since I switched to 4K video in general. Because <laughs> of this high resolution video, plus it's combined with another 4K video with this masking effect that is actually pretty expensive for performance as well. So all of that really, you know, I felt it a lot when I was editing videos lately, but not on this little thing. It's just insane how fast it is. So yeah, so far everything's been really cool. I use the laptop like this, like perfectly unfolded to 180 degrees. It's on a stand in there. So it's like on my eye level. You guys know how I really value this kind of positioning, so I made sure it's like that. And so far the biggest challenge here was sound, in terms of it was a huge hassle to make this microphone positioned this way, the way I had it at home, as well as fighting the echo in this almost empty apartment, which is always a big problem, but Hopefully the mic is close enough to my face to remove most of the echo. I know you guys can probably still hear some of it, but it should be pretty okay, hopefully. So yeah, it's been quite a busy week. 
don't know what else to tell you guys about, but I guess that's about it. We moved for a little while just to stay safe, you know, that's about it. Hope everything will be fine and we'll get to go home in a month or two or something, I don't know. Because if things go south, it's gonna probably affect everyone and it's not gonna be nice because a lot of stuff is at stake. Let's just hope a diplomacy finds a way. We'll probably get right back to Overpain. We need to finish the third part of this three-part saga of Overpain this month. So that's gonna happen this week, probably. It'll be best to just, you know, finish that. And then I'll be more than happy to continue my work on figuring out how to make games and everything and, you know, working on concept art for characters. It's gonna be pretty fun to paint things around and come up with designs and ideas so hope you guys are looking forward to that but for now this is it thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye oh by the way this this tree this fake tree with the christmas lights it was just here like it was waiting for me to use it like this <laughs>